how to sew a button on a shirt usually when the button is missing it's always thread left back here so what you want to do is remove that thread remove the thread okay as you can see there are still holes in the shirt so we're going to use that as a marker so what you will need is thread needle your button of course if you can't find that button you'd go to the fabric store and match it as close as possible I'm using the purple shirt and a white button so you can see and a scissors so what I'm going to do is take a piece of the thread and place in the needle we're going to thread the needle with a piece of white thread the button is white we're using white thread basically whatever color thread you remove <laughs> try and use that color again as you can see I already string the needle we're gonna make a knot make it the best way possible this is how I make it around the finger like that and a little twist that little twist will get it perfect so you clear the thread with the needle thread and scissors to the side take the this is the button okay the needle we're gonna place in back in the back not on the front in the back try to get one of these holes as you can see it's four holes here some buttons have two but I'm gonna place the needle here in one of those holes for those who have no idea <laughs> and new to this since it's four holes here we can just place this in one of the holes it doesn't really matter how you place the holes but if you're new to this you can follow because most of the time you will not see those four holes so I put the needle through the button one of those holes try to keep it in line because we we have to use it so we could close and you place the needle through here pull it back here trying to get the button stabilized it's stabilized now we're going to keep going back and forth back and forth through these holes until it's strong enough it's four holes you could do two then do two do two and do two this will happen just pull it back and go right back see we can run into complications like this so what we do is like try to get it back even if it's uneven that will happen pull it right back through back and forth we keep doing this until it's strong enough um, you can judge from the other buttons how much you might need to do and you know what the more the better because the stronger it will be but you don't want it to put, put too much because then it will just bulk up and look terrible so basically I'm gonna put like 10 and 10 uh, This is the back. You just aim for the hole in the button. You put through here, it comes to the back. See where it comes from the back? Pull through, place it from where it came from.
So it's basically back and forth. Back and forth. I'm going to do both sides. If it's buttons that have just two holes, then you know it's less work. But this one, unfortunately, <laughs> has four, so we have to do both sides. Okay, I'm going to finish off with this. When you're um, about to finish, try and get the needle to the back. Don't keep it in the front. Because, okay, keeping it in the front, let me show you, will not benefit us. Because I need to make a knot. So I cannot make a knot on top of the button, so we make it in the back of the button. So I put it back there, pull it nice and hard. Go to the back. See, this happens because my thread was not even. But we got to keep it even. It's not good. This is not good. Anyway, I'm going to use those to make the knot. So you do like this. You put it in the back of the thread. Put, pull it through. Okay, let me show how to make that knot again. You could do like this. Circle the thread. Sorry. Circle. You can make a circle. There's many ways of doing it, but we can make a circle. We're going to put it in back of the thread like that. In back of that circle. And pull through. That will give you a knot. And that's basically it. You could do one or you could do two. Scissors. Cut thread. The button is on. Place it in the hole of the shirt. Gotta get uh it's in lined. It's okay. Just save yourself some money. It's in line because we keep the original place of the button. We did not change anything. It's simple, it's nice and simple. Usually, like I say, there's always thread where the button is missing. So keep that as your marker and you should be good. So until next time with another